Introducing Jeffrey Hildebrand, Hall of Fame legend, Ernie Cockrell. Well, good evening. What a great video. Uh, it uh, painted a very true picture of Jeff. It's my distinct honor and, and pleasure to introduce Jeff Hildebrand and Jeff and his wife and their three children live here in Houston and foremost of Jeff's priorities are his family. Um, at the lunch today, I, I was watching Jeff and kind of thinking, what a role model for all these young entrepreneurs. I mean, Jeff is um, absolutely. So Jeff is strong in, in faith, in family, in work, in service, in country, and in philanthropy. He's a self-made man who has achieved excellence in virtually everything he undertakes. But most important, Jeff is an absolute man of his word. Uh, you can depend on what he says. You can depend that he will do what he says. So uh, as you've heard in business, Jeff is best known for Hill Corp. It's one of his uh, many ventures in, in business, but the largest and his first uh, it is the largest privately held oil and gas company in the United States. And I spent most of my life in oil and gas exploration. I can tell you oil and gas is a wonderful business as far as it's, it's, uh, it's an intellectual challenge, it's exciting, but it's a tough business. It's a competitive business. And you look at what Jeff has created in Hillcorp and from a personal standpoint, I am so proud that our industry continues to produce people like Jeff Hildebrand. <laughs> he is in a relatively very short period of time, uh, built a company that has operations from the North Slope of Alaska to the Gulf of Mexico, from New Mexico to Pennsylvania. Uh, it's been named one of the Fortune's 100 best companies to work for, and for good reason. I mean, Jeff is known, as you heard on the video, for building talent, building management systems, rewarding his employees, developing his employees. Jeff also founded Harvest Midstream Company, and Harvest now operates over 6,000 miles of pipelines across seven states, providing gathering, transportation, processing, and treatment services. Not surprising, Harvest has been listed as among the top workplaces in Houston. So I could stand up here and, and list all the things that Jeff is involved in. I've got to list the University of Texas as my alma mater. Uh, he's been on the Board of Regents. He's been honored at the Engineering School with multiple awards. But he's also on Texas Parks and Wildlife, uh, Baker Institute. He's very involved with Catholic Charities. Uh, in addition to Texas Business Hall of Fame, he's been uh, honored as a grad, uh, distinguished graduate of the University of Texas, also of an engineering school. So Jeff and, and Mindy, if you, as you've heard, uh, are very, very generous, very involved with their philanthropy. They do things that impact all of us. Uh, I'm particularly, again, proud of what he's done at the University of Texas, Texas A&M, but multiple charities across the state of Texas. I'm a big admirer of Jeff. Uh, and as a member of the same industry he's in, I'm very proud of him. So, uh, but that said, lest you think Jeff did all of this on his own, be advised that Jeff got his first start as an entrepreneur by borrowing money on Mindy's car as collateral. <laughs> so please join me in welcoming Jeffrey D. Hildebrand to the Texas Business Hall of Fame. <laughs> Good evening. 
uh, you got to settle in. I've got about 20 minutes here, so, uh, so I'll try my best to get us back on track. Um, thank you, Texas Business Hall of Fame. Uh, it really is quite an honor, and everyone that stands up here tonight are humbled by this award. Uh, to be in the likes of Walter Conkright, uh, that is quite amazing, Ross Perot, and, and on and on, so thank you. So lots of thanks, and, and I'll run through these pretty quickly, but first, thank you to my wife, Mindy. Without her standing by my side for the last 30 years, I would not be here tonight. She's kept me focused. She's kept me focused on track and constantly reminds me, do what you're good at. She never lets me get outside of the, uh, the fairway. She was really, as Ernie said, alluded to, she was my first investor. Uh, that's a true story. Uh, I went to her one evening, we had just gotten married. I said, honey, do you have your uh, title to your car? And she said, yeah, why? I said, well, I'm drilling some wells, and I've gone to the bank, and I'm trying to get a loan, but they said you need collateral. And I don't have any, but they said a car title will do. <laughs> Would you give me your car title? And she said, with some reluctance, oh, sure, of course, honey. Uh, that's how it's been for the last 30 years. <laughs> uh, well, to fast forward, the wells were dry holes, but but it was a really good investment on Mindy's part. <laughs> the rate of return was infinite, so thank you, Mindy. God, thank you. All right, to my children, Brittany, John Thomas, Jeffrey, I'm really, I'm so proud of each of you. Importantly, I'm proud to be your father, so thank you, guys. You, you are the greatest. As well, it's my middle son's birthday, Jeffrey. Let's all give him a hand. I've got a lot of other family members tonight here. Thank you very much for the love and support you've shown me. And, and finally, thank you to all the amazing employees at Hillcorp and Harvest. We've got some here tonight. There's really no other group of people that I'd rather have spent the last three decades building a great organization with. You know, in, as in all people's lives, in the, in the, and in the arc of my life, I've been very fortunate to have some life-changing men mentors who really believed in me in critical times when, quite frankly, I wasn't really worth believing in. Uh, the first really was my mother. Her entrepreneurial drive, business savvy, zest for life were really unheard of for a female in the 1960s and 70s. My father, who was smart, hardworking, diligent, and the consummate veterinarian. High school football coaches, Dan Hughes, the legendary oil man from Beeville, Texas, and finally Jack Trotter of Houston, Texas. I, I had the privilege of working with Jack for over 10 years, and he was really one of the smartest men I'd ever met. He was a very tough taskmaster, but he had an incredibly profound effect on my career. So all of these people have helped me become the man I am today, and I will always be eternally grateful to each of them. There are so many great business and community leaders here tonight. To you, thank you for what you do. Thank you for the jobs you create, the communities you fuel, and the dreams you inspire. You know, although on the surface tonight seems to be about honoring a few of us who have, have had some success in business, I think tonight is really a celebration of Texas and what it offers businessmen and women who have an idea, have the passion to pursue it, and then put in the long hours to make it happen. In 1989, I started Hill Corp with a little bit of money, a few wells, some good ideas, and like most entrepreneurs, a few not so good ideas. I was lucky enough to have a core group of people who believed we could build a great company in a state that was <clears throat> conducive to the entrepreneurial spirit where we could dream big. Starting as a sole proprietorship with a single asset, we've grown over the last several decades to a company of thousands of employees operating in nine different states. And our formula has been pretty simple hire smart, ethical people that are team players and create alignment with them. 
We do this by creating an environment where long-term personal wealth can be created for all. We say that when Hillcorp and Harvest wins, we all win. When we meet our goals together, we share in the success and failures together. And importantly, we do endeavor to make the lives of our employees and the communities we work in better. It's not complicated, it's not novel, but it isn't always easy. In 33 years, we've seen more than a dozen major commodity price dips, recessions, hurricanes, wars, floods, and a pandemic. But despite all of this, we've never had a corporate layoff, something that I'm very proud of because we want our employees to know we've got their back. These are some of the principles my parents modeled to me through their actions. They are Texas values. They are the values that make this state the best place to start and grow a business. Bring your best ideas, all your talents, and all your energy here to Texas. And I'd like to think that here in Texas, we're still a meritocracy. If you have the acumen and work ethic to succeed, you'll get a shot. Lastly, I want to challenge everyone here, especially the young entrepreneurs that are here tonight, to get engaged. Be a leader in your city and state. Bring your ideas and energies to bear. Get our higher education institutions to help grow our future leaders. Talk to our policymakers about the decades to come. And when you succeed, give back your time, talent, and treasure to this great state and its people that help make it possible. Let's make sure that we leave Texas to our children and grandchildren is the same incubator of opportunity that it is today. And finally, for those young aspiring entrepreneurs here tonight, I have four pieces of advice for you. One, be remarkable at something. As you saw in, in, in the video, be an inch wide and a mile deep. Two, be intellectually curious and become a lifetime learner. Three, adopt a get rich slow strategy in building your business. Get rich slow. I, I know that's a bit counterintuitive to the millennials today, but get rich slow. And finally, and most importantly, marry someone who will let you leverage their car title to collateralize your first business loan with. Thank you for this honor, and God bless Texas. Thank you.